YouTube. Just decided to upload a quick little video while I'm stuck at home. Why the weather's getting sleety real quick. But got a couple of products from Harbor Freight. While I get ready to wire up the storage room I have, I decided to try this little solar panel out. Whole kit comes with everything you need besides this little power inverter if you plan on using some plugged up products and of course a storage battery. But I had my solar panel set up earlier out in the yard before it started sleeting, so I put it out here so it wouldn't get too much to damage. But still throwing out some power, even though the sleet got a little thick on that, wiped it off earlier. But today's my first day hooking it up. Uh, just got it kind of temporarily rigged up right here. Turn on the light so you can see. But that's the little controller panel. Battery. My power converter. Don't have my power converter hooked up right this second, but yeah, I was planning on using this just for lights, charging, music, out here in the storage room. But, like I say, got this power converter too, just in case. I wanted to plug up more products, like my music. But, like I said, I'm just trying to get a full charge on it today. See if it's going to be worth using. Right now, it was making that sound because it's not enough juice in it yet. I just plugged it up not too long ago. It's still charging my battery right now. So I'm going to turn that on. But, battery showing 11 volts. Still trying to figure out how to really use everything because, like I say, I don't even really have it bolted down or anything like that. But uh, I was watching some of the other YouTube videos. Like I say, right now it's still charging. But, I mean, I'll load up some other videos later after I really get everything figured out. But for right now, it's just a test run because. I don't even really know what all I need with it. I bought this too just in case, but it's not hooked up. Um, mainly because I just had that one little battery, the 35 amp battery right now. So plan on getting another one or either bigger battery. But for right now, it's just these four panels, uh, 25 watts a piece to equal up to the 100 watts. My converter and that one battery. Um, I'll let you guys know how it's working out for me later, but yeah, just my first little day with it. We'll see. Day number two for my solar panel use that I got from Harbor Freight the other day. Thought of sleep yesterday, but we ended up getting caught with some snow. Um, just brought my solar panels back outside. I had them inside overnight, but showing that I'm getting a little bit of juice. I'm just going to leave them sitting out here on the porch for right now while it's still kind of snowing, but going to bring them out in the actual snow later you know a little bit towards the peak of the day but another thing that i had to update was the little clamps that came with this battery wire connection i took them off and just gave a direct wire connection for hopefully some better juice but just brought it out gonna let it charge um Lost a little juice last night just from sitting up, but I did. I think I disconnected everything. I'm just gonna leave it up for the day and see what kind of charge I get. Didn't really get much of a charge yesterday. It was cloudy yesterday too, but like I say, had it out in the sleep. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave it on this setting here for about a, I don't know, hour or two and come back and check it. But like I say, still just playing with it. I'm gonna see what kind of use I can get out of it. So like I mentioned yesterday, I didn't really have much success on the charge. Um, kind of cloudy yesterday because it started sleeping. <laughs> and today <laughs> we actually got snow. But I had it on the front. I had the solar panels on the front porch area earlier on my storage room. 
and had them sitting out there for about three hours trying to see what kind of charge I would get. Getting ready to go check it again real quick, but uh, I brought them out in the snow so I can get the last little bit of sun connection. Like I say, it's still kind of cloudy today. No direct sun out, but I mean, these things still get some juice from just light in general, sunlight. Uh, but let's go inside, see what kind of juice I've gotten in the last. Uh, I think it's been three hours. I think I was at 11 volts earlier. And I put it on this other charge mode instead of the regular mode. So. Cold as hell right now, but. Mm, went up to 11.6 over the last three, four hours. Um. No power going out, just strictly charging. So, I'm going to check back in a little bit. See what kind of juice we got. Going to go back to that supercharge mode just to get a full charge. Check back with you. A couple more hours. Alright. So, day number three of the solar panels. And day number two of the snow. But, uh, I tried my luck and ended up leaving them out like this all night. The only thing I did besides just coming out and periodically monitoring, uh, I changed the settings on the controller so it wouldn't do the max charge. Went back to the traditional charge. And when the sun set yesterday, I was still at about, I think, 11.6, 11.7, something like that. And I'm just coming out this morning and finally getting close to a full charge. So. No true direct sunlight. It's a little bit more brighter today, but we still got flurries. And like I say, just gonna see if I can get a full charge today. Um, like I say, soon the sun set yesterday. I noticed when it stopped giving power, the light icons were not lit up anymore. But I just ended up leaving them out in this same position last night instead of putting them on the porch. Uh, just to see when it would get a charge. And I also went, got another battery, 12 volt battery, but I can't run these together because different amperage. That one's 35, I think this one is 80 amps, so I won't be able to run them together, but as soon as this one gives me a full charge and stops charging, I'm gonna hook the other battery up. So that'll be the next video. All right. It's about 1.30, sunlight out, but they're not in the direct sunlight. Uh, just coming back out, get ready to check and see. Just hoping I got a full charge already. But like I say, sunny day, I'm gonna shift them around, put them in the sun in just a second. I just wanted to see how it's been charging. Okay. It's showing 12.4 um, through the regular charge. I'm going to put it on this for a second while I put it in direct sunlight. And then check back in a little bit. Alright, so once I placed all four of them in pretty much the direct sunlight, not, you know, the best, but just direct sunlight, um, I pretty much instantly jumped up to 13.2 volts and brought up when I brought my battery pack right to the front porch already but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this converter real quick Stabilized. I'm still testing everything out, but um, jump down thirteen point one when I hooked it up. Thing, even when I turn it on, when it hooked up, um, I'm gonna grab a couple of appliances and try it out. Real quick. 
All right, so I'm winding down at the end of this day. Mississippi, when we get snow like this, this is really just ice, but we're pretty much frozen unless you got the ATV or truck or something. But anyway, end of the day, solar panel still showing that picking up some energy. All for, but uh, one thing that I noticed throughout the day, I was uh having it in the direct sunlight and switching over from the different charge modes. My battery was getting like instant charges whenever it was in the direct sunlight. And it got on up to the 13, 13.8 volts. Uh, didn't use it for anything. I just noticed that it got up to that. Uh, when it did get up to the 13, I had the converter hooked up. Wasn't using anything, just had the converter hooked up and with the case to turn it on and just left it hooked up. So the converter has a small drain to it when it's hooked up and that's the only reason it dropped down to the 12 volts that it's at right now. I just had it on the regular charge like this throughout the day. Um, it got up to 12.9 and I saw it stop charging. I didn't catch any of this footage on camera, but tomorrow, uh, end up having some things hooked up to it throughout the day, letting it run and see what kind of juice I get out of it. But uh, so far, like I said, it's just the everything that came with the kit about the battery and just the converter. Um, like I said, later on, I'm gonna try some appliances and see what kind of use I get out of it. But that's it. Uh, got the lights kind of set up, but I hadn't really done anything with them. Next time. So day number four of my solar panels. Left them out like this. Just because uh, yesterday I had a full charge. I never hooked up anything to it yesterday. Didn't play with it too much. Uh, went between the different charging settings. Um, realized that on the regular charging setting, which it's on right now, I think it stops charging at 12.9. Um, I'm going to head on this one. Every time I would go back and check it, I think I reached to about 13.8 as far as the reading. Um, and another thing I noticed too, when I have it plugged up to the solar panel and unplug it, it may drop down just a little bit. Don't know how accurate that is or if it's reading what it's giving in. But like I said, never had anything hooked up yesterday. So today... Um, hook up my inverter and have a little music playing off my cell phone and have a bit charger and see what kind of life I can get out of it. And also, once I hook that up, I'm able to do something better than the clamps, but once I hook that up and turn it on, it also drops down a little bit just instantly. But like I said, I'm going to have charging my cell phone and playing music off of these computer speakers, so we'll see what kind of life I get out of off of the regular charge. All right, it's about 11 o'clock, about two hours later. No direct sunlight no more, it got a little gloomy, but had my music playing the whole time and my phone charged as well. But I did end up switching over here to the uh, max charge again. Cause I noticed the clouds were coming in, but uh, still going at 11.9, two hours later. Um, the main reason I switched over to the max charge, besides the clouds, is because um, as soon as I started playing the music in the phone, it went down to like 11.9. So I just didn't want to take the chance, I wanted to get the max power out of it, but yeah, I'm gonna check back later. I noticed the rain was coming down and still no clear skies, but wanted to come out and check on it. It's uh, almost 2 o'clock. So, still got my music playing. Just wanted to come and see what kind of level 5 still charging. Oh, since it's still been doing good, I'm going to add something else to it. Last snippet of the day. Since there's no more sun, I'm 
not getting any more juice. I'm about to sit them on the front porch area, but I wanted to come in, see how my battery was sitting. Um, the last video, when I said I was going to add more stuff to it, I ended up just turning the lights on out here that came with it. For about an hour, hour and a half while I shot a game pool. But end of the day, battery still sitting at 11.1. No direct sunlight. Um, I had my radio and my phone charger from about 9 this morning till about 3.30, 4 o'clock. And at the end of the day, still had 11.1. But not bad, I mean... For what it's worth, I guess I didn't do anything major, but I tried camping or something like that. But for right now, I was just playing with it out here in my storage room, seeing what kind of power source I can get out of it before I ran the wires, but not bad.